Welcome to this introduction to Camelot Real Fires. My name is Paul Shaw. I'm the second generation owner of, uh, of this family business, um, which was founded in 1972 by my father, Trevor Shaw. So I'm going to introduce you to Camelot Real Fires, um, uh, the fires that we create for people like yourself, um, and how we go about designing them and making them here at our design workshop in, in Worcestershire. So I'm, I'm next at the moment to one of our Thermavent open fires. So um, what you can see here is uh, the fire itself, uh, one of our handmade canopies, uh, a pair of, uh, of our handmade dog irons and a hand forged uh, grape front. Now it's um, a feature of our business is that everything we make is made to order by hand for each customer. Uh, and what that means is that we don't have pieces that we've made with us for very long here. So in order to show you some of the canopies, fire baskets, fire grates and dog irons and the accessories that we make, I'll need to do that using some footage or images that we've taken of other pieces at other times. Okay, so what we've got here is a twin skin canopy in steel. It's an ingle nook style and the customer's added four heavy studs to the waist. And it's sat above a three bar bow front fire basket that we've created with uh, hand forged ball top dog irons. This is a similar Inglenook style twin skin canopy, again with heavy studs to the waist, but this time it's sat above the client's existing uh, fire grate and dog irons with an integrated uh, uh, fire back as part of the back of the fire. But what you can see here in the same installation is the inner canopy look to, looking at from below. So you can see the inner canopy taking away the smoke from the fire, but the outer canopy is free to be the right size, shape and uh, overall appearance for the fireplace it's sat in. This single skin canopy in a cottage style in steel is again sat over a three bar fire basket with a bow front that we created but with much smaller and inboard ball top um, front uh, uprights. This fire basket was created as a commission for a client who had a beautiful new fireplace in a room but they wanted the, the dog irons and the fire basket to reflect the overall architecture of what was a new crafted extension to a, a country house. Okay, what I have next is two copper canopies. This first one is in a cottage style, but it's plain and unbeaten. And this next one is in a Inglenook style, but it's a hand beaten with panel detail. This club fender was designed specifically to match the detailing on this solid oak uh, fire surround and also the fire basket that we created in, in the fireplace itself. And you'll see images of that on the, uh, on the website elsewhere. This one-ended log cradle was created with the ball top swan neck detail which was mirrored on the dog irons that we created you can just see in the background. For a nationwide show visit service where we can bring an example of uh, our work with, to show you in person at your home uh, including one of our thermal event fires um, it's also an opportunity for us to discuss, to discuss with you in person what it is that you may have in mind or to inspire you with some of the images of other things that we've created which we'll, we'll have available during, during the visit. We can also survey, do a visual survey on your fireplace and your chimney system which will allow us to be more specific about what might be involved in creating your piece and also what the aspects of installation uh, may be. Now our fire grates, fire baskets, dog irons and accessories don't need to be installed, they literally just need to be placed in the fireplace opening. But a therm event and a canopy needs to be installed by what's called a competent individual who's got the right knowledge to do that. Camelot doesn't do installation work, but we do have connections with many organisations around the country who we can introduce you to, to allow that element to be understood and, uh, and, and, and discussed and agreed as part of the process.